you got going, Chris? I don't know. Huh? Got something? Oh, hey, you got one. Hey, folks. We're out here catching some bass. Is it a big one? Uh, huh? It feels decent. Pretty good sized fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a, good a big one. one. Hey, that's what's the biggest one. one you've caught, Chris? A uh, largemouth, probably five and a half, six pounds. You might have a bigger one here. What do you think? Uh, it looked good to me. <laughs> now, Chris is from Wisconsin, and this is Chris Yogers. He's a professor of, of all sorts of stuff. Oh, gosh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. He's a professor of social media things. Let's see. Let's see. Get, let's, get, let's, get, let's see, Chris. Oh, uh, heaven. That's, that's, that's about a five-pounder. I don't know if he's five and a half. He's not five, five and a half, yeah. but it's close to five. I'll take it all day. <laughs> but Chris is, uh, is also my, my uh, social media person. See, uh, he, he posts my YouTube channels and all those sorts of stuff, and, and uh, you've been working that, that social media forever. Mm -hmm. well, what else do you do, Chris? Um, well, yeah, I'm a professor of communication, and I'm also a writer, a film historian. Okay. A lot of things that have nothing to do with fishing <laughs> that I also enjoy. Um, but yeah, I just wrote a book on the Warner Brothers, and yeah. and uh, but now come down to Florida in the middle of winter to. Okay. Goes to hook and turn it like this, all the way up. Knock it out. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. No blood. No fuss, no nothing. A beautiful bass, Chris. I'll let, you, I'll let you release it. It's, right. not, it's not quite your biggest, but it's, no. it's not a bad one. It's not a bad bass. I have to say, this is often my favorite part, is actually letting them go. Yeah. So you they know. can get bigger. And that's the beautiful thing, and we've all seen this. We were talking this morning about the future of fishing. And the future of fishing is going to revolve around catch and release. Mm -hmm. Because it's gotten so technical, it's gotten so uh, so beautiful with with the forward facing sonar that they're practically wiping out they could practically wipe out all the fish if they were to keep them sure so now by you know catch and release and also i didn't notice that that fish had been caught before but what i, I noticed so. here with catch and release here on, on the lake uh, headwaters lake where we are is that about half of the real big trophies that we're catching the sevens and eights and nines and tens about half of them have been hooked before that's a good sign well, yeah, yeah absolutely that's, that's, absolutely that's really good Anyway, okay, let's get another shiner out there. We'll, we'll show them how we're doing it. We're taking a spinning rod. In this case, not the best shape in the world, but he'll, he'll work. He'll work. Okay. Okay, Chris. Now, where was he? Right back up this way? Yeah. Huh? Okay. You've caught some big smallmouth, haven't you? Uh, we have. You've caught smallmouth probably bigger than you've caught largemouth. I think so. Yeah. I think so. I should probably change that. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going I'm I'm to slowly, I'm going to slowly come up and I'm going to slowly reel into them until I feel them. And then, then I'm going to set the hook like that. Okay. I got them. Go ahead and take that camera if you would and, and just, uh, Kind of turn the camera towards, towards me. Or you can take it off the, off the, off the little. Yeah, that's it. Now we're talking. Okay, that's a good one, Chris. All right. About the size of yours, maybe a little bigger. That might be six pounds or oh, so. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a bigger fish. That's a nice one. That's a bigger fish. I'm gonna come <clears throat> land him. Uh oh, that's not too big. I can't get them. Ah. That's a bigger fish. Ow. Oh, five pounders. You know, the beautiful thing now, that, that fish, you can see he's been back in this marsh for quite a while. And he doesn't have any, any hook marks in him. He's never been caught before. That's definitely a spawning fish. You notice how, how fat he is? That's about a five pound spawning fish that's just just fat and sassy and he just barely hit that shiner as we drifted along i let it go again beautiful beautiful fish be caught again another day and basically 
what we're doing, we're just drifting real slow. And that's kind of the day when the wind doesn't blow hard, we take these shiners like we got here and we drift them slow and easy on about that much line. This is a, this is a 65, no, it's a 50 pound braid on this rod. And we'll take a shiner. There's a couple ways to hook them. One, one way I can, I can hook them, uh, well, I'm just gonna take a small shiner just to show you. When I have a small shiner like this, I'm gonna just hook it through the mouth because then it's gonna drag, it's just gonna drag along. Now there's a hard part, there's a hard part in this head and I just hooked it in that hard part, make a cast, and I'm gonna let out line because I'm slowly drifting here. So what I'm gonna do, I'll get it back there and just slowly drift it along. And you notice how I have the trolling motor. Now I have a power pole trolling motor. It's called the Move. And see, I can I can adjust it to the left. Watch the, watch the head of the trolling motor is turning. I can turn it on. See, it'll stop it just to go that way. I can turn it off. And I can can I adjust my drift? I can come out from the bank or into the bank. And I, I want to keep the boat sideways like we're doing now. And we get two or three rods out. And we're actually catching a few on plastic worms as well. So. It's just a kind of a combination deal. But when the wind blows like this, think about drifting because the drift can be a real big deal. Oh, I got one of the, I think I got a couple lines. You got something. There might be a bass in here. You got a bass in the whole deal. Middle of the oh, a decent one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Nice big four or five pounder. <sighs> yes, sir, that's a good one, Chris. So lines are all around <laughs> everything. The <laughs> hazard of shiner fishing. Nice big fat one. Look at that. Look at look at that. How big fat that that's fat. Just kind of hold it around this way. Yeah. Yeah. Look how fat he's. Short and fat. I mean that's just as chunky as that's a spawner now. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Whew, son. And I played with that thing. That was a crazy play. Uh, he did. They've been they've been running around with it. They haven't really been pulling. The, the bait under, so it's yeah. hard to tell when they have it or not. Yeah. So when's your book coming out? It's coming coming out soon. It, well, it came out in September. Oh, it actually. did, okay. It came out in September and um, yeah, it's been great. Yeah, it's I, I got some great reviews. The Wall Street Journal picked it up. I mean, it's been, oh, it's wow. been pretty successful. Okay, and yeah. what's the name of the book again? It's called The Warner Brothers. Warner so Brothers, it, okay. it's about the, the Warner Brothers family that, that sure. founded the movie studio and oh, yeah. empire okay. that still exists. Well, that's that's fantastic. Well, I'm gonna have to get me an autographed copy. <laughs> I can probably make that okay. happen. <laughs> We're gonna have to cut some lines. I think we got we got a little problem here. That, that that four or five pounder just ran around everything, and it just look at that look uh, at that hey. bunch of lines. The only thing you can do is that whole mess right there is take a knife to it. Start over. <laughs> Start over. Okay, let's do that. We'll get down down to the brass tacks and cut all this stuff loose and retie everything. Put some new shiners on. What you got? Chris, that big oh, that's a nice one. Yes, sir, son. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's a good one. Yes, sir. Look at the size of him. That's another big bass. Yes, sir. Okay, now now we're talking. Yeah, yeah. Put a five pounder. Five. Yeah, yeah. That's a nice one. Ooh. Yes, sir. Is the plug is it down in the down yeah. in the, down the okay? Yeah. Well, uh, not not a drop of blood. If you look down that his throat, it's perfect. An arm. And it was hooked deep deep in the in his stomach. That's another beautiful five pound bass. Beautiful, beautiful. We've caught some nice quality fish. We haven't caught a real big trophy yet. Hey, but we caught some great fish. And I lost about probably one of the biggest ones. On the power pole. That was a bad deal. <laughs> okay, cool deal. Well, the weather's kind of all of a sudden the sun came out. It had been raining all day and cloudy and windy and all kind of things happened. Now it's gotten calm and uh, the sun's out for the first time. And the temperatures come up about 10 degrees. So uh, these cold fronts that come through kind of hurt us a while, but maybe it seems like it's picking up. Seems like the bite's picking up. Better weather. Of course, the wind is the worst thing you can have.
a lot of wind, but right now there's no wind. That's that big shiner. Ooh, look at this, look, look at this. One's got this one. Look, look, he's got my he's got my bait. He's getting my bait. He's, he's after this one right here. Look, look, he just took it. He just took it down. Okay, I'm gonna reel into him slow and easy. Reel into him until I got him like this. I got him, son. I got him. I got him. I got him. Yep, sir, son. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> That's what, that was fun. That was neat watching him hit that thing. This is old three or four pounder. It's not a real big one. But he thinks he's big. Yeah, he thinks he's big. Oh, yeah. Still, still a quality bass, so Quality bass. <laughs> when they hit like that, that's they're really, they're really fun. Okay, son, I got a good one. I got a good one. I don't know what it is. It's probably a bass. It's a good one, son. Oh, yeah. Hey, I tell you what. Oh, you got another one on there? Here. Let's see. Uh, uh, hold that one. I'll just hold this one. Chris has got one. Chris has got one. Oh, yeah, got one. Got one. The big one, Chris? Huh? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh oh. Oh, it might be. Small one. Yeah. That's another four or five pounder. That's another decent bass. Yeah. Another decent bass. I tell you, folks, you know, we've caught a few good fish, Chris. We'll just put this up here like this. and. So, what do you think, Chris? It's a heck of a lake, isn't it? This is. It's great. So uh, we've caught, I don't know, 25 bass or something up there, maybe, maybe more. Yeah, Might at least caught. 25 on yeah, the maybe. shine. There's a few more yeah. on Senkos. Yeah, and nice big four and five pounders. We've had quite a few. So I tell you, folks, this, this lake's alive and well, and Professor Chris here, he's, <laughs> he's shown us up. Actually, you've caught more fish, I think, than anybody. <laughs> we've, we've had a good day. We did. It was a super day. And again, Chris is uh, doing my social media. You do all my YouTube, well, you help with my YouTube, but you also I help with that, but the, do, do uh, Facebook all, mostly all, and, all this stuff like that. Yeah. So you've been working with uh, with us now for Walt and I for what? Oh, a long, long time, oh, wow. 10 years or yeah. so. Anyway, folks, that's what, that's what it's all about. Big, beautiful bass here in Headwaters. And come on down. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.